episode two of Whack It Wednesday. It's a little bit windy here today at World Cricket Club, but what we're going to have a look at today is the fungo drill. Now this is a activity that you can practice on your own at home that you don't need anybody else for, you just need your bat and some balls, which I've got over here. Effectively what we're looking to do is just tuck, chuck the ball up to ourselves to then look to move into a power hitting position to then hit the ball from there. This is an activity that was stolen from a couple of years ago having a look at a piece of software called a ZEP sensor which went on the end of your bat effectively and it had some drills and activities already aligned to that that you can use and have a go at yourself so it's one that's been taken from there. So all we're looking at doing is we're looking to get ourselves set up, ready to go. You toss the ball up, you step in, and you're looking to get your power hitting body position in here as you swing. So what we're looking for, with me being left handed, I'm looking for my heel to be nice and light so I can rotate into that position. You can see my kind of hip, as my heel comes up it rotates and my hip pops, so it looks to turn into square into that position. So I'm looking to go up, see this shape that my lower half is creating. Have another go again. Again, heel nice and light. Looking to create this lower half shape. You can see there, nice straight front leg, bending my back knee and everything is lined up from my back knee through to my back shoulder there. in terms of lower half, in terms of top half we're looking for our hips to have rotated to square before our hands come through to hit the ball. So we're looking to go up, pop our hips and then our hands come through off the back of that as well. So if you watch that again in slow motion you'll see ball goes up, hips through and then arms come through off the back of that. When power hitting it's important that we're able to hit the ball not only with a straight bat, but with a slight angle bat and a cross bat as well. So when we do this, we can practice trying to hit with a straight bat as well as 45 degree bat, kind of like a slight angle where we're looking to drag it through into the leg side, but then also cross batted as well. So whatever length the bowler then bowls at you, you can then make sure you give yourself the best possible opportunity to be able to really extend your arms through the ball to be able to strike it no matter where that bowler has pitched it we can then get a strike with the ball depending upon how detailed you want to get with this whether you want to just have a go first and foremost or be a bit more detailed or we want to have a look at see if we can get the handle of the bat going at the ball for as long as possible so you'll see here handle of the bat to go at the ball for as long as possible. this activity you can do this with any quality of ball so whether you want to hit some tennis balls hit credit balls cricket balls whatever you do you can also have someone come and feed it for you if you want to progress this now if you're going to go with hard balls make sure you do it in a nice safe way so you could have someone peer around a neck for example so stand this side underarm and then get round out the way so you can do it that way as well and you can also have a go at this any way that you want to in your own practice when you're having a go at batters and bowlers as well I hope that's been useful guys, feel free to leave us some feedback, subscribe on YouTube and like on Twitter and Instagram.